What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of Killers by Paul Wilson. Killers is a compilation of nine self-working or semi-automatic card tricks created by Paul Wilson. The biggest benefit is that since these are either completely or partially self-working, they are easy to do and allow you to focus on the presentation of the tricks without worrying about difficult slights or moves. In this review, I'll go over some of the routines taught, exactly what you get with your purchase, my thoughts on those routines, and finally, whether I think it's worth a purchase or not. Killers by Paul Wilson normally retails for $20 from Vanishing Ink Magic, but the digital downloads can be purchased right now on sale for $10. The physical 2 DVD set is also available from Penguin Magic for $40. The links for more information or to purchase it are found in the video description down below. As always, this is an honest, unpaid review. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright, let's take a look at Killers by Paul Wilson. My name is Paul Wilson and Killers is a collection of semi-automatic so-called self-working card magic. Why do I say so-called? Because there's no such thing as self-working magic because magic needs the one thing that makes it special which is you. And that card is the three and that's the seven, the four, the two, the eight, the five. Could have thought of any card? Could have thought of any number? And the card you thought of was? It's a diamonds. Did I get it? <laughs> and the great thing about these effects is there's very little in the way of sleight of hand. In fact, most of them have no sleight of hand whatsoever. But what they have are powerful, impossible conditions that create miracles with cards. All you have to do is add yourself. What was the card you selected at the beginning? Take that top card, show it to everybody. Yeah, do we get it? Wait, 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 wait. We've all got a card too. Everybody take the top card. Just hold it out like this. That's the jack of spades. Let us see it. That's the jack of clubs. That's the jack of diamonds. That's the jack of hearts. And that's a miracle. The card. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Thank you very much, Thank you, man. So for $10, you can get the digital downloads from Vanishing Ink Magic or get the physical 2 DVD set from Penguin Magic for $40. I purchased the digital downloads from Vanishing Ink Magic, so please keep that in mind for this review. I'm not sure if the videos differ from the physical DVD, so just putting that out there so you guys are aware. From Vanishing Ink Magic, you get 12 different videos with your purchase. 12 of these videos are the actual tutorials, and then you get the trailer video, a separate video that contains general advice from Paul Wilson on how to present the effects, how you can improve upon them, etc. Then you also get a toolkit video, which is a video where Paul Wilson goes over some of the moves that's already taught in the tutorials and teaches some new moves that can be used instead. This is a fantastic addition for beginners as this video covers some really useful principles and moves that all good card magicians should know. These are moves that you'll probably be using forever and are not limited to just these set of routines. The total runtime of all 12 videos clocks in at just over 2 hours and 18 minutes. That's a lot of magic and a lot of very detailed explanations by Paul Wilson. One thing I do want to mention about the tutorial videos, and Paul Wilson himself even recommends this, is that you will need to grab a deck of cards and follow along with Paul as he goes through the tutorials. He goes at a slow, deliberate pace, which is great when you are first learning these routines, but if you're just sitting there watching it like a movie, it's going to put you to sleep. So definitely bring your cards and follow along. Another thing I want to mention is that there aren't actual uncut performances included. These videos are just the explanations. I like to always see an uncut performance to be able to know the timing of certain things, how fast to move on, etc. So you'll have to find your own performance videos separately, 
and honestly, I'm not sure why they didn't just add these on to the beginning of the tutorial videos. Now that we know what you're getting, let's take a quick look at the routines that are actually taught. So right off the bat, I'm going to start with what is arguably Paul Wilson's most famous routine that's included here. That would be Concam Coincidencia, or C3. This is an effect that involves three spectators and a magician and is an absolute miracle. It's so good, Shin Lim actually performed this on the finale of America's Got Talent the first year he competed. It's an absolute killer effect that blows people away and buying C3 on its own will cost you $7.50. So for a few bucks more, you can get eight additional tricks. It's kind of a no-brainer just based on the value of C3 alone. The next routine that I do want to mention here is Yamfican, which stands for yet another method for any card at any number. It's Paul Wilson's handling of a really easy Acan type effect that really doesn't involve any slights at all. It's a really powerful effect, and purchasing Yamfican itself would cost you $3.50. So just getting C3 and Yamfican separately already cost more than the cost of the killers bundle. It's worth getting killers just for these two awesome tricks alone and then you get these other bonus tricks included if you want to think of it that way. Now I'm not going to go through each of the nine routines taught for the sake of time but I wanted to talk about C3 and Yamfican specifically because in my opinion those are the two gems in this bundle. It's worth it to get this bundle for these two tricks alone. The other tricks included here I'll let you guys look into that but just know Killers is definitely worth it for just these two awesome effects alone. So moving on to the difficulty level for the nine tricks taught here. It's important to remember that these are all self-working or semi-self-working tricks. The hardest trick here only requires one or two basic slights. The beauty here is that you get to focus on the presentation. You don't have to work all that hard to create some card magic miracles. With that said, with all tricks, including self-working tricks, Practice is required to ensure you get down the timing, the misdirection, the patter, etc. So yeah, these are definitely beginner level tricks, but don't expect to be performing all these within, you know, like the first hour of learning them. You will still need to put in the time and the practice. Okay guys, so here we are at the summary. In conclusion, the positives are you get nine self-working or semi-working routines. That's a lot of card magic here. Paul Wilson goes over everything in really good detail. The total runtime of all the videos total 2 hours and 18 minutes. You get bonus advice and toolkit videos included, which will help elevate your magic to the next level and can actually be applied to other tricks, not just these 9 that you learn. And finally, the sheer value here alone is worth it. For $10, you're getting 12 total videos, which consists of 9 tricks. That's about a dollar a trick. For C3 and Yamfican alone, it's a no-brainer. And moving on to the negatives. First thing that I'm mentioning is that it is recommended to follow along or you'll fall asleep because of the slow pace of the tutorials. They also do not include the performance videos themselves. You have to look these up yourself or just try to figure out the flow and the timing of the trick from just the explanation videos. And finally, some of these effects can be kind of procedural. Uh, and that's, just, that's the nature of self-working tricks. So there's certain steps and procedures that can draw one trick out for a long period of time. That's true for some of the effects taught here as well. Some just take too long in my opinion. So the bottom line here guys, if you're looking for some easy self-working card tricks, look no further. In fact, I would say if you want an incredibly powerful four-person trick and then get a super easy Acan effect on top of that, then you should get this alone just for C3 and Yamfican. Then, on top of that, you get to learn some additional easy effects as well. The value here for this bundle of tricks is extremely justified, and I think it's a no-brainer. $10, 12 awesome videos, perfect for beginners in card magic. The positives heavily outweigh any negatives here, and it's super affordable. For me, this is a must-buy. Alright guys, so there you have it. That's my review on Killers by Paul Wilson, so make sure you guys check it out. Links are in the video description down below. That's it guys. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Also, let me know if you guys saw Shin Lim's performance of C3 on the finale of America's Got Talent Season 13. What did you think of it? Do you have any other four person tricks that you use today? Because this is a really, really good one. Let me know guys. 
Also, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.